Are you ready to have a robotic assistant at your beck and call? The highly anticipated Tesla bot has sparked a frenzy of interest and everyone wants to know, how much will this innovative machine cost? As Tesla revolutionizes the world of automation, let's take a closer look at the potential price tag of this cutting-edge technology. Tesla is a company known for its innovative electric vehicles and clean energy solutions. It recently announced the development of a new product, the Tesla Bot. The humanoid robot is intended to perform tasks that are repetitive and dangerous or boring for humans, such as grocery shopping or cleaning. With its advanced technology and sleek design, the Tesla Bot has generated a lot of excitement among technology enthusiasts and potential buyers alike. One of the questions that many people are asking is how much will the Tesla Bot cost? While the company has provided some information on the pricing, it's important to take a closer look at what we know so far and what factors could influence the final cost of this groundbreaking product. Let's find out in today's video. In 2021, when Tesla first showed off the concept of its humanoid robot, Optimus, it was just a human in a robot suit. But Elon Musk, Tesla's creator and CEO, revealed two fully functional humanoid robot prototypes a year later in September. At Tesla AI Day in 2022, the first one, Bumble C, tiptoed onto the stage as if it didn't want to wake a sleeping baby. Musk told the audience that Bumble C had walked untethered for the first time that day, and he acknowledged that the robot was capable of more, but that he and his team had decided against the risk. Optimus, though, stole the show when he was finally shown, appearing like a futuristic twist on a medieval knight. After being wheeled out onto the stage because it couldn't walk, it waved to the crowd and did a little dance while sitting on a stand. For Musk, the design of the prototype was pretty close to the final model. He added that eventually it would be able to aid millions of people and perform many useful tasks. Here's a list of stuff that Tesla bots will be able to do easily. Walking forward and backwards. Climbing stairs. Working with objects. Picking up objects while squatting in a sitting position. Turning while walking with an object. Moving up and down slopes sidestepping while holding an object, sliding an object in front of its torso parallel to the ground, lifting an object with one arm only, using a drill and screwdriver, squeezing an object and lifting it, pushing objects forward, backward, and sideways. One thing Optimus will probably do is talk to humans, but it's not clear how well that will go. Barry, who is researching on human-robot interaction, said that she would seek out more natural interaction, which would make the robot more user-friendly and approachable, potentially reducing the uncanny valley effect, the eerie feelings humans get when they're around a robot that's too human-like. So that Optimus can cooperate with humans and grasp their intent without vocal cues, she believes the robot will make use of natural language processing. Humanoid Robot Proxy's developer, SRI International's Interim Director of Robotics Lab, Alexander Kernbaum, said that he was amazed by how far Tesla engineers had come in a year, but he was very dissatisfied by Bumble C and Optimus presentations. He speculated that Bumble C's walking robot was built with readily available components so that the controls team could get a head start on the project. Hardware is difficult and time-consuming to debug, so it's not unexpected that the more recent prototype Optimus didn't function properly. Professor Carlota Berry of Rose Holman Institute of Technology in Indiana judged the prototype's mobility to be less amazing than that of humanoid robots by other companies, such as Boston Dynamics, which are capable of parkour. At the September event, Musk dropped a few hints, telling the gathering that the Tesla robot is supposed to be an extraordinarily capable robot, with production units expected to number in the millions. The price tag is little as well. It's expected to cost significantly less than a car, Musk stated during the launch. Its form is derived from that of a human being, with the hands, feet, and a head. It also features a central processing unit in the form of a brain housed in its chest. 
Optimus is equipped with 28 structural actuators and a 2.3 kilowatt battery pack, giving it enough power to function for nearly a full day. One engineer who spoke at the ceremony said that if it were to fall in the future, it would cause only minor harm. Six actuators and 11 degrees of freedom, axis of motion, provided a hand that can conduct a wide and more precise adaptive grasp of items, such as grasping small tools like a screwdriver, but it still falls short of the human standard. The robot's fingers are reinforced with metallic tendons. In addition, sensors in Optimus's hand let it know what it's grasping and whether it's in three dimensions. It can also lift 20 pounds using its paws. Nonetheless, not everyone in the know was convinced. The design of the hand was really simple, Kernbaum stated, and I would suggest the main focus should be on hand and finger skills. To prevent the robot from being able to dynamically interact with the world, Kernbaum pointed out that Tesla's prototypes look to be built with high-ratio gearboxes that aren't back-drivable. And in my opinion, this is a serious issue, he continued. When the world doesn't act the way the robot expects it to, it'll malfunction because it'll always walk like a robot and move like a robot. In terms of software, Optimus's brain processes information from a variety of cameras and radars to form an image of its surroundings. An integrated visual navigation system is controlled by neural networks. Engineers filmed people performing tasks like picking up a package off a shelf, then translated the data to Optimus so that it would mimic human movements as closely as possible. Barry acknowledges the feasibility of using neural networks and computer vision to complete jobs, but he worries that keeping up with shifting priorities in an unpredictable environment could prove difficult. Example. Demonstrating that a robot can do very well-defined tasks in a lab is a huge leap from being able to execute them in an unpredictable real world, she explained. Optimus doesn't appear to have anything going for him at the moment. We started producing something that is workable, but it's far from being useful, Milan Kovac, director of engineering at Tesla, stated during the Tesla AI event. If Optimus can't do these things already, it's hoped that one day it'll be able to. These abilities would be useful in both the workplace and the home. Kovac stated at the event that Tesla plans to trial a use case program for Optimus at one of its production plants, despite Musk's earlier claims that Optimus might one day mow lawns and do dishes. Optimus is marketed as a multi-purpose robot, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. Kernbaum argued that while Optimus' planned functions aren't necessarily useless, there are existing robots on the market that perform them. Optimus is advertised as a multi-purpose robot, but I don't see a moment in the near future where it makes any kind of practical sense. I don't know if I'll see that happening in my lifetime," Kernbaum added. According to Kernbaum, technological constraints are a major cause of the holdup. Below demand is another, he added especially when it's simpler to build a robot that excels at a single task, like picking strawberries, or to adapt an existing manufacturing or distribution center to the robot specifications. He also doesn't expect to see Optimus in the workplace anytime soon, partly because its legs are a safety hazard and aren't necessary. When you can roll, there's no reason to take the danger of falling while walking, he advised that a safe operating space could be created for the robot, where the risk could be reduced and the surrounding environment could be managed. How likely is it that we'll see robots with legs in the outdoors or in our own homes? Probably not, but who knows, in 20 or 40 years. One of the questions that many people are asking about the Tesla bot is how much it'll cost. While the company has provided some information on the pricing, it's important to take a closer look at what we know so far, and what factors could influence the final cost of this groundbreaking product. During the unveiling event, Elon Musk mentioned that the company plans to price the Tesla bot at $10,000. This is a relatively affordable price for a highly advanced machine that's designed to perform complex tasks. However, it's important to keep in mind that this price is subject to change and may not reflect the final cost of the product. There are several factors that could influence the final cost of the Tesla bot, including the cost of materials, research and development costs, and production costs. 
It's also possible that the company may introduce different versions of the Tesla bot with varying capabilities and price points. And that pretty much wraps this video up guys, thanks for watching. So what are your thoughts about the pricing of Tesla bots? Share with us in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you'll most certainly enjoy, so hit the like button and leave a comment below. We'll see you guys in the next video.